like being the center of attention and having people want their own. I demand. Six years old. That's all I wanted. The center of attention. Six years old. Wendy is one of the most radically honest storytellers, you know, in the history of media. And why would this documentary not echo, you know, that incredible legacy of, of openness? I don't know what wealthy is. I don't want to be wealthy. All I wanted to do was be famous. Well, why can't you access your money right now? That seems really unfair. I have no idea. The timeline that the viewer experienced is a little bit different than ours because there was a diagnosis that was announced prior to the airing of the doc. It wasn't the experience of any of us as producers as we went into it. We did not know at all that she had um, dementia. It's no secret that there have been random people around you getting money, getting paid, whatever the case may be, Stealing money from me. I'm just trying to figure out your friends that you're saying is your friend that you're also paying. These filmmakers were embedded with Wendy for over a year and, you know, on and off, you know, and really grew to care about her as a friend. And we no longer wanted to be any kind of an excuse to, uh, like, delay Wendy's medical care. I still see glimpses of my mom very often, like, she still has a chance to live a good and healthy life, but she needs to want to live that. But I feel like if you don't slow her down, she's not gonna slow down for anybody. We hope that people can see why we aired it, you know, and produced it. Um, and that the intention is to shine a light on, you know, um, the difficulties and the secrecies, you know, in these guardianships. I love you. So do I. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, oh. mm.